Well, hello out there in YouTube land and Facebook land. I am recording on my trusty old little flip camera. Seeing if it still works, and apparently it does. I had to dust it off a little bit and put uh, some new batteries in it, and it's working pretty good. So today is 10, 11, 12. Isn't that kind of cool? 10, 11, 12. Yep. So mark that date. Something important happened on this date somewhere in the future or present, as it were. But that's not why you're here with me today. Today, there we go, that's better. I'm actually outside here uh, at the Teleco, actually the Loudoun uh, Recreation Area in uh, Tennessee. And the sun is actually in front of me, that's why I'm shooting this way. And I hope you can see the lake here in the background, or at least hear it. Here, I'll do a better shot. There's a little cove here. Got some cool thing happening with the log. That's kind of pretty. And the sun is going down. I'll show you the sunset over here. You don't, you can't, don't watch your eyes. Blinded by the sun. Got a nice golden thing happening there behind these bushes. So, yeah. So, figure I'd talk a little bit. La uh, my last vlog, I was talking about my car and having some issues with the tires. And it, my tires are now fine and the car's running good. We got the oil changed. But this right here is the culprit of the whole car issue. It's this little tool that is used on Mercury Grand Marquis to unlock the hubcaps. And the reason why they have these for the hubcaps is apparently back when they designed the car, the hubcaps were a high commodity for thieves and they would steal the hubcaps so they invented this little lock type thing that you would use to open up the hubcap and replace it and all that wonderful stuff but it has since caused problems for me and my car but now I'm back in running order so there we go and uh, yeah so not much else is new I've been uh, going on uh, job interviews I had two uh, I already got turned down for one I guess I'm not uh, destined to work at a Darden restaurant, uh, which is like Olive Garden and Red Lobster and all that, because I have no restaurant experience. I have concierge experience, but they're not interested in that, I guess. I keep telling my mom that I might be a little too old to be working at a restaurant, because I've seen the staff that they staff there, and the staff is pretty young, but who knows. And I might be overqualified, too, as well. But that's my opinion. So uh, I had an interview somewhere else, and I'm waiting to hear back on that because I'm supposed to get a uh, second interview, which would be nice. That's for a full-time job. I'm not going to say what yet, but uh, I'm busy. And I applied to some more jobs today and went out on a job fair. My mom uh, kind of took me somewhere where she heard was having a job fair, and I went there. And there were quite a bit because it's getting close to the holidays, seeing that it's October. I was at a... Uh, Kohl's store a couple days ago and they've already got their uh, Christmas decorations setting up. I thought that was a bit strange, but you know, they gotta start decorating early, I guess, especially if they use a lot of decorations. But yeah, that's what's going on here. Um, I will post when I get a job, hopefully soon, because I really need money. Uh, I did file for unemployment with California and I was following through on that and all of a sudden, I've stopped hearing from them, so I don't know what the dealio is with that, and quite frankly, I'm tired of it, because there's nobody in the unemployment department who really wants to talk to you. You always end up talking to a recording, and it's very annoying. So, yeah, those of you who are unemployed, you know what I'm talking about. But the uh, reason why I go over here is because it's pretty. You got the lake. I've mentioned this lake before. This is the same lake that's over by the dam. This is just the other side of it on the dam side. <laughs> on the lake side, I guess. And this is a 30 mile lake. So it's pretty huge. And there's, there's a, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a boat fishing off there in the distance, just behind the tree. And that's why it's cool to sit here. As you can park your car back there and watch the boats go by. And there's some pretty impressive boats out here. I mean, I've seen a couple yachts go by. So, yeah. But, uh, 
that's it um, for my, uh, you know, I've been uh, trying to get my web series going together for my science fiction web series. If that ever gets going up again, once I get a job, I'm going to keep it separate from my uh, uh, main channel, which is this channel here, because I figured I'll put the stuff that I talk about on my YouTube channel and the science fiction web series stuff will go on the other channel, so that way I won't confuse anybody, and for those of you who actually like listening to me, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, because I need viewers, and that would be cool. I know people watch it, and uh, tell your friends. So thank you very much, and I'll uh, kind of inform everybody if I get a job, and when I get a job, because like I said, I really need money. So have a good day, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week.